Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk about setting up a Git server on your Synology NAS. So let's just get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log into your NAS and uh, your Synology NAS, right? And you want to go to Package Center and you want to type Git. Okay, so G-I-T. Go ahead and search for that, and you will see Git server. So if you don't have this installed, I already have it installed, please go ahead and install it. Then um, what you'll see, there isn't much to see here, but it's going to show you a list of people or users on your Synology that um, are allowed to access the Git server. So by default, the admin is allowed. And I created a new user called Git Admin. So in my uh, in control panel, I went to user. I just did create. I added a new user here called Git Admin, and I gave them the same rights as the admin. I suppose I could have done it using um, just a regular admin account, uh, but for some reason I, I chose to to do this. Um, the account must have admin privileges in order for this to work. So create your account. If you want, you can just use admin. Come back to Git server and make sure that you give them access. So the next thing that you need to do is it will require that you have SSH uh, uh, enabled so that you can communicate to it. So you need to go to control panel, terminal, SN, SNMP, and right here, it's going to pop right up to uh, this, and you want to enable SSH service on port 22 or whatever port you want. But I just use the default, which is 22. Okay. Now that you have that, um, what you need to do is you need to SSH into your Synology box, and you need to create the Git repository that we are trying to set up. So what I used for that in my case was I used PuTTY, uh, which is a, uh, a free utility for performing SSH. And after you uh, SSH into your Synology, you'll be presented with a, uh, um, you'll be presented with, I think you end up in the root directory. Let me see. So I think if you, first log in yeah when you first log in you're going to see this and so what you need to do is you need to go um into the volume where you created your git uh your your uh, shared directory for your git repository i did not show you that so let me go back here real quick so if you come into uh, now that you have your Git server up and running, what you need to do is you need to go to uh, shared folder. And what I did was I created a volume, or not a volume, on volume one, I created a shared folder called Git, G-I-T. And make sure that the Git, uh, if I edit this, let's see, uh, permissions, Oh, by default, admin has read write, so you're already good with that. Yep, so that's that's really all you need to do. So now we have a shared folder on my main volume. Uh, yours may be different, but uh, you can work through that. So if we go back to PuTTY, then what you're going to see is right here. Here is volume one. And so we're going to CD into that volume. So CD volume one. Okay, and then if we look inside here, you're going to see that we have our Git folder. And so you want to CD into uh, that. Okay, and once you are there, then what you need to do is this is where you need to create a bare repository um, for Git to operate on. So let me just cycle back through my commands. And here is the command that you need to run. So you would do git dash dash bare init 
unreal.git. And so in this case, I am creating a repository called unreal.git. And that is going to be the name of the repository. After you create that, you're going to run a second command. And it's going to be change owner dash r git admin, which is the name of the user that you created, colon user space the name of the repository. So once you have completed this, your new empty git repository is created. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to create a test one and then I'll show you um, what that looks like. So I'm going to create a repository called test. We'll go ahead and do that. It said initialized a empty repository. Very good. And then I'm going to change the owner on this to me. Although I believe the owner has already been set. I would have to double check that. But just to make sure, you're, you're good to go here. So now that we've created our repository, uh, let's go to our Windows machine or whatever machine where your Git client is, and we're going to clone that repository uh, down to our machine. Okay, so what I did is I created a folder called test repo. This is going to be the local directory on our Windows machine that we are going to clone our direct our uh, test repository to. We're going to do git clone use ssh the name of the account so git admin the ip address or the name of your synology server so that's important so that i can find it and then um the volume the subfolders remember our shared folder called git and then the name of our repository so test.git so you type that in hit enter it's saying that it's cloning into test and it's asking me for a password. So in this case, this is going to be the password for the Synology Git user or Git admin user that I created. So I type that in. Okay. And it looks like it has a problem here, but I'm going to show you that this actually works. So I believe um, as part of Git admin, it's trying to change directory as it's saying to a var services homes git admin but since that folder doesn't exist it's complaining about it but as you will see here um, we do have our test um, repository here and it's also saying that you've appeared to clone an empty repository and that's because it is an empty repository so um, now that you have this uh, we do have our test uh, repository cloned and what we can do is we can go ahead and I'm going to just create a, um, uh, a file. So I went ahead and created a test file. So if I go into my folder here, you can see that here is my text document and I should be able to go ahead and uh, check check this document in just like you would with any other repository. So I have just basic uh, commands here. So I'm just going to do git add. So it's going to add the file that we created into the repository. Then I'm going to commit So we'll just go ahead and uh, commit our file. The one file was changed. And then I'm going to push this to origin master. It's going to prompt me for my password again. Okay. Now that that's pushed, we have our... Uh, We've successfully pushed the file 
up to our Git repository, which is hosted on our Synology NAS. You can also set up credentials so that you don't have to type in the password each time. I will leave some instructions how to do that, but I'm just going to keep using the password in my case. I hope you found this quick tutorial useful. I know that not having to use a public service and backing up my source code on my own uh, Synology NAS is a great feature for me. And then I use Hyper Backup to take uh, snapshots of my overall Git repository and store it um, on a cloud service. Please hit subscribe if you like this content, and I'll talk to you later. Have a great day and a safe day. Bye.